Hey legends, welcome back to Hellmouth Hotline. I'm your host, Rodney Stewart, and we're getting into the, the Hammer box set once more for a film called The Witches. And uh, just before we get going here, um, if you happen to be a science fiction fan, particularly Star Trek at this moment, I have an R podcast on the go called Skim Me Up Body. So if you're on the Star Trek, uh, science fiction in general, I'm going to be doing a crap load of review based content on that podcast for Star Trek at the moment, along with a lot of other old old stuff. Like I'm not just going to be doing old stuff, I'm going to be doing brand new stuff as well, but it's early days and I'm playing about, see what happens. So right now, I can guarantee Star Trek all the way and uh Space 1999 is going to be another one, and uh, Jerry Anderson's UFO. Mm. Literally watched that entire series a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely brilliant. So if you're under your science fiction and you're interested in, you know, getting over and checking that out, please do so uh, via the website, coinsagemedia.com. So uh, let's get into this episode. I hope you enjoy it. This movie is called The Witches from 1966 and it stars Joan Fontaine, Kay Walsh, Alec McGowan, Anne Bell, Ingrid Bouting, Bouting? I'm not sure how you pronounce her second name. Uh, John Collin, Michelle Dautrys, Dautrys? Uh Yes, there's a load of of people on here, Leonard Rossiter, isn't it as well? Probably the one person that jumped out to me besides Joan Fontaine. Um, yes, as with all the Hammer Horror movies so far, uh, this one surprised me along with the rest. Everything I've watched up to this point has been a surprise, a slow burn, but a big surprise. Uh, this one here, pretty much. Uh, uh, following a horrifying experience with the occult in Africa, a school teacher moves to a small English village only to discover that black magic resides there as well. So it starts off, um, she gets attacked when she's on this, like a, she's like a school teacher, which is like a, a missionary sort of a setup. This is just the opening of the film. And uh, they're trying to escape a tribe and then. Uh, as the people start escaping, she's stuck in this little cabin on her own, and the door busts open, and uh, this cult comes flying in like a crazy witch doctor sort of thing with this massive uh, voodoo type of a mask on him. And uh, she screams, passes out, and then it kind of skips from there to later on uh, after she's returned to England. <coughs> And she's getting hired to become the head teacher of this school in this small village. Um, the first 20, 25 minutes is incredibly slow, but uh, very well done in building the characters and the and the town, just the whole setting of where the film is going to take place. Just it really does build it as a place where she feels that she really fits in, she gets in, she starts teaching the pupils and whatnot and uh, uh yes it, it just feels completely genuine and uh she starts to notice something's weird with one of the girls in her class and she starts to suspect the grandmother of witchcraft and she has the hots for another kid in the class he's gifted so the, the uh the headmistress takes him on for extra lessons uh to try and nurture his skills um later on we discover that uh he has taken sick and rushed to hospital and we find a doll which he gave his girlfriend or the girl that fancies him i uh, give her a doll she's in the doll she's always running about with us like blonde Barbie doll sort of thing he bought her like a Ken doll sort of setup. Uh, later on we discovered that doll uh, full of pins 
with the head chopped off stuck up a tree and of course this here uh, starts her suspecting that witchcraft is involved eventually in the film she starts making uh, progress to discover what's going on there's a the person that hired her him and her sister are like there's something strange about him he's kind of standoffish and whatnot but the, the sister is very supportive of Joan Fontaine's character and when everything starts to come out uh, she's given full support that she's gonna back her up she's gonna write it she writes a column in a magazine she's gonna help her get the word out and you know, everybody needs to find out about this sort of thing but as the shit hits the fan so to speak uh, everything starts to come out Joan Fontaine's character didn't see this coming usually I'm two steps ahead in these films takes a relapse of what happened to her in Africa at the beginning of the film she had a complete mental breakdown and the stress of this does the same and she wakes up weeks or m probably months later in a hospital and no memory of what happened but eventually uh, it starts to come back she makes her way back to the village and discovers that uh, spoilers that the sister of the guy that hired her to be the head teacher at the school is in fact the head of a cult who is trying to uh, raise Satan to give her longer life uh, and the only way she can do that there is to sacrifice one of the students so uh, Joan Fontaine's character gets dragged in to this cult and I'm fully expecting her to get murdered at this point because we're not that far off the end of the film but they actually induct her into the cult and you just have to see where it goes from there uh, if she's going to side of the cult or try and save the, the student that's by far not a fantastic review in this film I know but uh, this is one of these ones that is surprisingly surprisingly good really did enjoy this one here I don't want to spoil it too much for you don't want to give away the ending for it and uh, definitely one you're going to have to go and check out for yourself this has been a production of Coins Edge Media. Check out my social media links in the show notes. Thank you so much for listening.